kill someone? Or did someone break your heart? Did you break my heart, Marion? We've been tracking the suspect. You think he's connected to a terrorist plot? Et là, c'est la maison, c'est le 45. Vive le 45. Hello and thanks for joining us from a French series on a special forces operation in Iraq to a new adaptation of Spanish teen murder mystery Elite. Our TV critic Diptyka Laurent is here to take us through all the TV shows you should be watching this month. And Dipti, you're starting with season four of Netflix fan favourite, the serial killer drama You, starring Penn Badgley. That's right, Penn Badgley, he's Joe Goldberg. He's a slick, careful, psychopathic serial killer who murders women and pretty much anyone who gets in the way of his romantic pursuits. This season is season four. Uh, it's sort of turned the concept on its head. We find Joe Goldberg uh, escaping his bloody past after he kills uh, the mother of his child. And he lands in London, where he is now Jonathan Moore. He's posing as an academic, but his past quickly catches up to him uh, as you Great can see in this trailer, take a look. Area. Turns out teaching's fun and London's not so bad. I fell in with the most insane damaged people on earth. A circle of privileged douchebags. But I do miss having someone out there. Hello. No. No, I am not interested. Nope. Not interested. I don't want to know. Oi. Where did you go? Why does the universe keep doing this to me? Well, I'm certainly quite intrigued by the fact it's set in um, the UK. What did you make of this season then? Well, look, uh, I, I'll be honest, I gave up on this show about after about, you know, midway through the second season because it got a bit predictable. But thanks to this new twist in season four, it really breeds uh, much needed new life into the show. And I, it's interesting, Goldberg sort of quickly gets into trouble when he befriends this group of British socialites who start being murdered one by one. And it's very clever to bring this whodunit murder mystery, uh, a new setting, as you said, in, in London, a new serial killer who's taunting Joe and trying to pin these murders on him. Uh, and, you know, what's interesting is this character, this guy, Joe, he's reprehensible, he's terrifying. But for a fleeting moment, you almost feel bad for him. And I think that's where the show is really interesting because it toys in your emotion, toys with your emotions in a very uncomfortable way as you see this character go from predator to prey. Um, now, Penn Badgley, the actor himself, he's been uh, quite vocal recently since a since a launch of you this this month he graces the cover of this week's variety magazine in which he talks about uh, how he asked for the sex scenes to be toned down because this season uh, you'll see that um, the sex scenes are, are are very tame compared to the previous seasons and he said he just got really uncomfortable with that aspect of his job he said uh, he also alluded to his com discomfort at being uh, considerably older than his female counterparts. So it's nice to see these discussions being had in television by male actors. Yeah, well. it's interesting. Well, the first part of You is released this month and the second part will come out in March now. And February is also a stellar month for French TV shows. Let's start with um, the French-British show Liaison out on Apple TV+. Plus. Take a look. I imagine that you want more. J'essaie de te dire que j'ai changé. Tu crois qu'on change, toi It's happening again. We get complete control of the grid. We have to get a grip of this, Allison. J'ai besoin de toi. I know those guys more than you do. They're going to slaughter us. Well, this is a big name show, Eva. Liaison stars Vincent Cassel and Eva, Eva Green, who find themselves on opposite sides of the channel, trying to hunt down two Syrian hackers. It's a palpitating a romantic thriller. It's a cat and mouse chase by French and British intelligence. It zigzags across uh, Paris, Brussels, London, parts of Syria as well, blending themes of uh, Brexit, cybersecurity, terrorism, and domestic intelligence. Well, um, the premiere was here in Paris. Nina Masson, TV critic for our French channel, got a chance to catch up with the cast of Liaison. Take a look. What really resonated with me in this show was the love story. Perhaps it's a woman in me, I'm not sure. Of course, you need context, tension, danger, mystery, espionage. But it was this human conflict, this complicated relationship between these characters. That's what I really loved about the show. And of course, Vincent Cassel. If you Vincent Cassel. 
My character is an international mercenary, and when you scratch beneath the surface, you find he's very solitary and he has to make very complicated moral decisions. When he digs deeper and discovers what international politics is really about, he's got a dark and cynical view of the world. Well, Dipti, there's lots of fanfare about the cast. Um, what did you make of the show, though? Well, um, let's start with what I did like. Uh, you see in, in, in those clips we just saw, there's a lot of mutual admiration between Vincent Cassel and Eva Green as actors, and that really does translate uh, to the credibility of the romance between their characters and liaison, this dark, intense, secretive passion between them. It's not novel, but it's still it's a nice concept. Uh, but I did find the show got lost in its myriad of intrigues, and, it, you know, it was a little bit implausible at times. The terrorists, the domestic intelligence, the mercenaries, you know, Paris, Brussels, London, uh, it just doesn't come together quickly enough for me. So I think if you... Uh, like the show, you will have to be very patient. Having said that, I, I, I do say you should stream it. It's glossy, it's beautifully shot, the acting is good. I personally just felt a little underwhelmed by the show. OK, well, that's Liaison out on Apple TV+. Plus. I'm not going to be watching it after what you said. There's so many <laughs> other things to watch. Um, Amazon Prime Video has released a new um, French fiction series and it's garnered a lot of love on um, Prime's French platform. It's called Cœur Noir, or Dark Hearts, and it takes us to the thick of a war against the Islamic State group. Yeah, this show is from uh, French Lebanese director Zia Dwery. Uh, he's also the creator of a very, very good French political drama called Baron Noir. Uh, so this show, Cœur Noir, or Dark Hearts, it follows a mostly French cast who play a commando group of French special forces tasked with exfiltrating the French daughter and grandson of an ISIS leader in exchange for his collaboration. This is at the height of the Battle uh, of Mosul in 2016. It's described by Amazon Prime as its first series on the French Special Forces. It's even backed by the French Ministry for the Army. For the moment, the show is only available in uh, French-speaking uh, Europe. So France, Belgium, Luxembourg and Switzerland. Take a look. Now, Dipti, you really liked um, this show. What are your thoughts? Well, I was, not, to be honest, I wasn't expecting a lot, but I was uh, very, very surprised by how good the show was. Uh, the, you know, the U.S. loves its shows about special forces. I'm thinking about, like, Homeland, Quantico, uh, or more recently, SWAT. But this is really new territory for, for French television, and I found the show very nuanced. It's a six-episode season. It ends on a terrific cliffhanger that, that wants you absolutely gagging for a second season, uh, full of tense moments that are interspersed with these touching moments of peace and calm that shape the lives of uh, of these men and women. There's a lot of close zoom uh, cinematography and, and a haunting uh, musical soundtrack that brings you right into the heart of the action. Uh, I particularly like the fact that this mission is messy, it's unpredictable, it's downright terrifying. Uh, that makes it uh, all the more re uh, relatable and it's very realistic. Indeed, the cast trained for several days with special forces to learn about the technical aspects, uh, but also the, the mental aspects of their job. Uh, there was also a former leader of French uh, special forces who uh, advised in the show, so they did try and make it as realistic as possible. Uh, you know, there were some cheesy moments and the, there's one uh, particular moment right in the beginning of the season uh, of the series, the first episode where they sort of present themselves as, as saviors. Uh, uh, there was a bit of eye rolling on my part, but I can look past this because <laughs> the series is very, very top notch. Even. Okay, well, French audiences um, seem to agree with you. In its first week of release on Amazon Prime France, the show even dethroned The Last of Us as the most watched show on the platform. Well, finally, from you, Netflix has released an Indian adaptation of um, the hit Spanish drama Elite, and this one is called Class. Yeah, Elite was really a breakout star uh, of Netflix, uh, for Netflix, when its first season dropped in 2018. Uh, the later seasons were not that good, but when it came out, it was a soapy, trashy murder mystery about three poor teens who got a scholarship to a very uh, rich school. Now, Class, the Indian adaptation, follows 
Uh, the same story, it's set in the capital, Delhi. Uh, it, it's adapted the concept to an Indian audience, so it deals with things like Hindu-Muslim tensions, uh, the caste system, uh, Islamophobia, the LGBTQ community, dark underworld of uh, Indian society. Uh, the Indian version is very faithful to the original, perhaps a little too faithful. I think it could have been a bit more ambitious. Uh, but it has gotten some uh, good reviews in the Indian press. The Indian Express uh, called it uh, the kind of top-tier guilty pleasure you watch, but only because you know you'll spend the rest of your week on a strict diet of Soviet-era socialist drama. So, guilty pleasure. Okay. Well, we're going to um, let you decide if this will be your guilty pleasure of the month. Thank you so much, Dipti. Until next month, um, let's leave you with a sneak peek of class. You in the friendship, मैं सब कुछ पता है। सर जी और मेरे जाते तो मुझे मुंह भी ना लगाते हैं। उसके खूनी को ढूंढना है तो उसके दोस्तों की तरफ देखिए। अच्छा है। सब लोग एक दूसरे को लपेटने में लगे हुए हैं। काश कोई होता जो इन्हीं की गेम में इन्हीं की बजाता और दिखाता कि हम भी हैं, सेम हैं अपनी क्लास।